Cayenne pepper moves blood. That's one of the best circulatory stimulants there is. It's not a nervous system stimulant like your caffeines or your tobacco. It's a blood stimulant. And when you consider that the life of the flesh is in the blood, cayenne pepper is a wonderful healer. And you can put cayenne pepper with any other herb and it'll intensify its action. So let's begin by looking at how you can use cayenne pepper internally. By the way, how would you take it? Well, a medicinal dose may be a quarter of a teaspoon in a little bit of water and throw it down. Won't it burn? Well, I prefer to call it tingle. <laughs> it might feel like it's burning, but it will never burn. Internally, it'll heal a stomach ulcer because what the cane does, it causes a constriction of any open blood vessels. So just for a moment, let's look at externally. If you have a cut, cut, you pour cane pepper into it and it'll stop the bleeding. If my arm and my bones were sticking out, I'd be very thankful for a doctor to <laughs> perform an operation to get my arm working again. But there are lots of little tiny bits and pieces that the natural remedies will fix. So any cut, put the cane pepper on it. Yes, it will hurt, but it's already hurting. And remember, it'll settle down and then bind it up because it'll constrict the blood vessels and cause them to shut. Now, internally, if there's a bleeding ulcer and you take cane pepper, won't it hurt? It'll give a little bit of a tingle, but it will never hurt, meaning it will never cause an ulcer. In the book Jethro Kloss, there's a doctor that says it's impossible to cause a lesion with cane pepper. Another doctor said you cannot abuse cane pepper. It's impossible to abuse it. It's actually a very safe herb. It will never harm. You can also use it internally if someone has a heart attack. Hmm? No need for aspirin. And by the way, it has been shown today that aspirin causes brain bleeds. This is very, very safe with no side effects. Now, if someone is on warfarin or aspirin and they're a little concerned, I would suggest start taking a quarter of a teaspoon three times a day and most people, if they're on warfarin, they have to be tested, yeah, every few weeks or every month. And the doctor will say, your blood's getting so thin, we can reduce your medication. Mm-hmm. Because he will see it if you're taking cayenne pepper. It's very safe. There are... I was going to say many doctors, probably 1% of doctors, there are a few that, that are using natural medicines with amazing results. See, there's no side effect with this. You could take a bucket of that a day and you would still not bleed to death. Mm -hmm. Because, remember herbs, Psalm 104 verse 14, God made herbs for the service of man. They work with the body. Now what that did when this lady took it, it thinned the blood, it immediately opened, dilated all her blood vessels and she got a dramatic delivery of blood all through her body and that's what pulled her around. Isn't that amazing? If you've got a stomach ulcer, it'll constrict the bleeding vessels. If you need to open the arteries, it'll just open that. That's how the herbs work with the body. You can also use cayenne pepper to wake up areas of the body that may be sleeping. Now, we have had a few people come to our program who've got peripheral neuropathy. That means they've lost the feeling in their feet. And this is one of the side effects of chemotherapy. So we've had a few people come who have lost the feeling in their feet. And it can also be used when people get commonly uh, cold feet. You must never allow your feet to get cold because perfect health requires perfect circulation, and perfect circulation means that your feet are the same as the rest of your body, the same temperature.